Have you ever wondered why Mason Pearson brushes have been called the Ferrari of hair brushes? What makes them so great? Well, today we're going to be looking at several different styles and sizes of Mason Pearson brushes, $895 worth to be exact, as well as one of their $28 combs. So if you're interested in learning more, here we go. Hi, I'm so glad that you're here with me today to look at all these different Mason Pearson brushes. Before we jump right in, in case you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Nicole, I'm 53 years old and I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you like videos about beauty, skincare, hair care, makeup, and I do some cooking once in a while, hit that subscribe button right now while you're thinking of it. So let me tell you how I got started with these. Years and years and years ago, someone that I knew was talking about her Mason Pearson brush, and I said, wow, yeah, I've always heard those are great, but gosh, they're so darn expensive. And she said, well, I've had mine for years and years, and it still works perfectly, and it looks brand new. And then a few years later, someone was telling me that, this was someone who was a little bit older, said that they'd had one for about 30 years, and they still use it, and it's still great. And I was like, well, wow, well, if you advertise it over 30 years, that's pretty darn good. So that is when I purchased my first one. I purchased this size. By the way, I use all these brushes, so I have tried to get all the hair out, but if there's like a lone hair, I'm really, really sorry about it, but and it was there for like five hours pulling hair out of the brushes, so I did my best. Okay, but anyhow, so this one is the mix of boar bristle and nylon bristle, and this is the largest size. This is called the popular. So you can see compared to my hand, you know, about how big that is. I love this brush. The way it feels on your scalp, the way it goes through your hair, firmly but gently. See, I have this really fine line I have to walk with the brushes. I have some wet brushes that you know I was using when my hair was wet or even just in general because some of the brushes just felt so, so harsh. But then I had purchased a different boar bristle brush that wasn't inexpensive. Well, I mean, compared to these, I guess it wasn't that expensive. It was like $70. It was by Moroccan Oil, all boar bristle, really, really nice. But I just, you know, it was hard to dig it through my hair because it was just kind of too soft. Um, I did really like it if I back home my hair like for kind of you know smoothing out I mean it's great for that but for what I was looking for that was you know just not a win for me so I love this so much that I wanted to have them with me all the time on the go so then I purchased this this is the handy size so you can compare the two sizes here um, this is the handy and this is the popular and I got the same thing the mix of the boar bristle and the nylon and I've had these this is probably about two years this is probably about a year and a half or so um, and I absolutely love these and I, I just am so glad that I bought them. Um, just so that they feel, um, I mean, they're holding up great. Uh, and then just so you know, they come packaged. So this is one that is all boar bristle. And the other three that I'm showing you, as well as the comb, these were gifted to me by Skin Store. I was saying I was gonna do a video about the ones that I had, and they said they'd send me a few extras so that I could show you some different styles also. So thanks, Skin Store. Um, so they come packaged like this very nicely, and they come with this little uh, cleaner thing inside of it. And what it is, this isn't to pull the hair out, but if you want to clean your brush. So you, you don't want to go, you know, dunking this into water and stuff. So you actually, you know, put this into kind of soapy water. And then when you want to clean your brush, this is to actually clean the brush. So that's pretty cool. And they all come with this, which is really nice. So those are the mix of the boar bristle and the nylon. And then let me take out the all boar bristle one. And again, this is in the handy size. Oh, and price-wise on these, this size with the mixture of the boar bristle and the nylon is 240, and this size is 175. Now the handy, so the same size as my smaller one, in all boar bristle, this one is 275 for that all boar bristle feel. And what I would say about this is compared to the nylon, it still has you know a good feel on your scalp. You really do feel those bristles. Uh, but I think that when you're going through the lengths of your hair, it's a little bit gentler. And they say this is good for people with thinning hair or finer hair. The mixed boar bristle and nylon is the best for people with kind of medium thickness hair. Um, this again works great for me. I have a lot of hair, it's fine, but I have a lot of hair, so I think that's why I fall into the category of liking the mixed boar bristle and nylon. Oh, and I have a code for Skin Store that'll give you 25% off, it's Nicole25, and it works not just on Mason Pearson, but tons and tons of other brands if you wanna use that, it is down below. One brush that I understand is very popular is this one. It is the detangler, and this is the handy size, so again, this is the size that you know I've been showing you, the all boar bristle, the mix, 
waist and now this is you know all nylon but it's not just the same as their nylon brush the difference because i have this in the pocket size so this is an all nylon one a pocket these bristles are a bit softer they're more flexible so when they're going through your wet hair they're not going to be as rough on your hair so because you know when your hair is is wet it's at its absolutely most damageable state that it could be in right all of the cuticles are expanded and you just don't want to be ripping through your hair so you know if you touch both of these these are way more flexible and if you can see the ones in the detangler here they are a bit longer so they're a little bit stiffer on the regular nylon and they are shorter than this one the detangler I found the detangler to be wonderful really gets through your hair nicely again but in a more gentle way than this one a normal nylon one the normal nylon one though wow talk about a scalp massage oh my gosh it feels really 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 good and um, this has been even handier for my handbag because it is even smaller than the one that I originally had as you can see this still takes up quite a bit of room but man this little guy has been truly handy even though he's the pocket and this is the handy size now I'll just compare the three sizes that I have this is the popular the largest this is the handy medium and then this is the pocket the little guy now the largest one here this is 5.12 in length on the head of the brush by three inches the handy is 4.62 on the brush head here by 2.75 inches and the littlest guy the pocket this is three and a half by two here's a close-up of the three different types of tuft the pure boar bristle boar bristle and nylon and nylon mason pearson also makes one that they call the military style and it doesn't have a handle at all popping over to the mason pearson website here are the military brushes and they say that the handle free military hairbrush was originally used as far back as the 1700s it was created for easy storage in the rucksacks of military men on the march what a luxurious gift for someone who likes to travel light now let's talk a little bit about Mason Pierce and the company, kind of how this all got started, the quality, how the brushes are made and things like that. One reason Mason Pearson brushes are called the Ferraris of hairbrushes is because celebrities and celebrity hairstylists are just wild about them. In this article in British Vogue, Rosie Huntington Whitley talks about the Mason Pearson brushes when she talks about how to curate your handbag. Jennifer Aniston's hairstylist Chris McMillan lists it as one of his favorite hairbrushes to use. He says it's a true proven classic that he can smooth out anything with and he uses it mainly to brush out curls or hot roller sets and he can't live without it. All kinds of reviews are always saying it's the best investment for your hair. And you can find all kinds of wonderful stories about people who were given a hairbrush when they were young and how it lasted them 50 years and the stories that the hairbrush could tell if it could talk. So it's just a brush that has such reputation as being a workhorse and beautiful. Mason Pearson brushes claim to distribute the hair's natural oils from root to tip, detangle the hair with ease, and stimulate the scalp for massage-like experience. They work to make your hair smoother and shinier. The boar bristles distribute your hair's natural oils from root to tip, so you're left with glossy locks all around rather than concentrated greasy roots. This is Mason Pearson, the founder and engineer inventor of the Mason Pearson brushes. In the mid-1860s, he worked for the British Steam Brushworks, where he learned the trade. He mastered brush making by hand, and later partnered with Raper Pearson Gill to form a small brush making business. He ended up inventing an automatic brush boring machine to speed up the process of making brushes. And in 1885, he got a silver medal for that at the International Inventions Exhibition in London. And then that same year, then see this rubber cushion here? He invented the, the see they call it the pneumatic rubber cushion. So there's a really nice flex to it. I think that might be why it feels so good when you're brushing your hair and on your scalp because it really, you know, really moves. It's just really so comfy. It took until 1905 for him to really perfect the brush and every Everything was done by hand. When he died about a year later at age 64, his widow Mary took over the business and it has been run by the family ever since. They stayed at their original location for 105 years and they didn't move until 1986. They say that the basic product has barely changed since back then and the names like the handy and the pocket and the popular are still the same. Now the way this works, they say that the famous orange pad fills with air through a small hole in the tip of the brush. So, you know, you probably can't see it on this one, but 
I noticed it here at the top of the white one, it seems pretty visible. So that's the little hole that the air flows in and out of. And that's what gives you that luxurious soft cushion. The plastic handle shapes were developed from the original wooden models, and those are still made in small quantities. I think you can even order custom ones. I have no idea what that costs, but it is a thing if you are interested. I think you need to actually somehow get a hold of the UK contingent to do that. They do hand finish every brush though to make it very comfortable to hold. They feel so quality. There's like a really nice weight to these. Now let's look at this comb that I got. It was in some plastic before, but I wanted to show you what the packaging looks like. This is the professional tail comb. I guess when they make them, they tumble them to make them really smooth and then they hand polish them to make them, you know, just, just absolutely perfect. And you know, they're very nice. The only thing I would say is if you were looking, I got this one because I was kind of looking for something if I wanted to part my hair or whatever. It's not a super, super pointy tip. I guess that's good. It won't break off that way as easily. Uh, but if you're looking for something to just, you know, drag through your hair to make really, really sharp, I mean, it, it will, it will part your hair. I mean, here we go, you know, but it's not super, super, super pointy if that's something that you care about. Uh, it does back home really nicely. And what I like about it is that, you know, since it is so polished and smooth, um, you know, I'm not feeling, have you ever had a brush where you almost feel like it's kind of ripping at your hair when you back comb? I mean, I don't know. I, I've had that happen when I have just a cheap comb. Um, it does not do that. So this is quite, quite nice. I'd also like to get their rake comb. That's supposed to be very, very popular from what I understand. Uh, and it's supposed to be really great at detangling. It's more of the, the wide tooth type of a comb. Uh, but I do have to say it is quite beautiful and um, I really like it. And I can't believe how smooth it is. I mean, this feels so quality. It's just kind of unbelievable. So um, really like this comb and yeah, these are $28. I was just thinking these would be such a great gift to give someone. If you want to get someone a splurgy gift, I mean, it took me until I was what, in my late 40s, no, early 50s, till I ever even purchased a Mason Pearson brush. So I think it'd be pretty cool as a gift for someone who would appreciate what it is. If you're looking for a gift for someone who kind of has everything and, you know, I mean, even if you just got one of the $75 ones for them, I think it'd be kind of nice and very appreciated. Now, looking at these size-wise, any size of these would work. Um, I like the big one because it goes faster. So this is the one I always have, you know, by my vanity. I keep a handy size down here where I film all the time. And then of course, Mr. Pocket goes into my handbag because it's just so, so handy. And yeah, they all have a definitely different feel to them. I think if you are between, like you're not sure, oh, I want the detangler or something, I think that unless you have very thin, fine hair, I would definitely go for the boar bristle and nylon mix because I think that would work for more people. Um, and you know, that does also come in the uh, little pocket size too. I hope showing you all these different styles and sizes of the Mason and Pearson brushes was helpful for you. Uh, if it was, do give this video a like, maybe a share if you know someone who'd be interested in it. And if you haven't yet joined my community, would love if you consider doing so and hitting that subscribe button. If you have any questions at all, go ahead and put them down in the comments section. And thank you so much for watching. YouTube's probably popping up a couple different videos right now that you might be able to spend some more time watching. And uh, either way, so glad you were here with me today. Thank you so much for watching and it's not goodbye, just so long till next time.